In this video, we're going to be looking at the review questions for test number four, which covers lessons 13 through 17. Um, it is timed. You'll have an hour. You only get one attempt, and you will definitely want to have a calculator nearby during this test, as well as some of the formulas that I'm going to present to you as we go through this review. Maybe things that you want to write down and have close by as well. So question one says, write the exponential equation 7 to the x equals r in logarithmic form. Remember that exponentials and logarithmics are inverses of each other, and we can convert from one format to the other. Generically, when you convert from an exponential to a logarithmic, it looks something like this. Okay, you would have log of the base, which is written as a subscript, and it's going to ultimately be equal to the exponent. And the piece that goes here, we often call the argument, is actually your answer in the original problem. So if I'm looking at 7 to the x equals r, and I wish to write it in logarithmic form, it's going to be log base 7 of r equals x. Remember that, and you may not have really understood this throughout the lesson, but remember that a logarithm is ultimately an exponent. So that's why it's equal to the exponent. So if you keep that in mind, that may help you out as you're making um, the conversion from exponential to logarithmic or vice versa. Question number two asks you to define the domain and the range of the logarithmic function log base 14 of 2 minus 6x. I'm going to actually start with the range. Remember the range corresponds to the usable y values for a function and for any logarithmic function regardless of the base the range is always negative infinity to positive infinity. The domain of a logarithmic function, which corresponds to the x values, um, has to do with the argument. For the domain, the argument of a logarithmic function must be positive. You may say, well, what's the argument? The argument um, is actually the expression in the parentheses here, the 2 minus 6x. Whatever you're taking the log of is your argument. So in this scenario, we need 2 minus 6x to be positive or greater than 0. And so I have a basic inequality equation there that I can solve for x. I'm going to subtract 2 from either side so that I have negative 6x is greater than negative 2. Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. Now be careful because remember when you are dividing by a negative and dealing with an inequality, you have to flip or invert the symbol. So it's really x is less than one third. So our domain written as an inequality is x is less than one third. Written as an interval, it would be from negative infinity to positive one third, and the one third is not included. So the range is all real numbers as it is for all logarithms, and the domain for this particular function is negative infinity to positive one-third. The third question asks you to solve for x in the equation 9 raised to the x plus 1 power equal to 27 raised to the 2x minus 3 power. This is an exponential equation because your variables are in the exponents, okay, and it's kind of obvious that you don't have um, logs. 
there's different ways for solving exponential equations. Um, one of the things that jumps out at me about this one is initially I have different bases. I have a base 9 and a base of 27. Um, if I could have rewrite it so that I have the same base for each one of those expressions, then I could work it from that perspective. And so I kind of think for a minute, and I realize, well, I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared, and I can rewrite 27 as 3 to the third. So if I use that information to rewrite these two um, expressions, instead of having 9, I would have 3 to the second raised to the x plus 1 equals 3 to the third raised to the 2x minus 3. So that essentially what I've done by rewriting it is I now have the same base. I do need to do a little bit of simplification here. When you have an exponent raised to an exponent, remember we multiply. So we're going to have 3 raised to the 2x plus 2. Make sure you distribute. And I'm going to have 3, again, 3 times 2x minus 3. I'm going to have 6x minus 9. Again, what I've accomplished at that point is I have the same bases. And because I have a base 3 on the left and a base 3 on the right, if the bases are the same, we also know that the exponents would have to be the same. So 2x plus 2 would have to equal 6x minus 9, which is a good old basic everyday algebra equation that I can solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from either side. I have 2 equals 4x minus 9. And then I'm going to add 9 to either side. So I have 11 equals 4x. I'm then going to divide both sides by 4 to isolate the x. So I end up with x equals 11 fourths. So I've solved the equation, the original equation for x, where x is equal to 11 fourths.